Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an opacity scroll effect. So first thing you need to know is that opacity scroll effect, well not only opacity scroll effects, all scroll effects will only work with fixed breakpoints. So if you don't know if you are using fluid or fixed breakpoint, just bring your mouse over the, the, the breakpoint bar and you'll see if it's fixed or not. So right now all my breakpoints are fixed because you can actually combine them. And if you want to switch from one breakpoint to another, I mean from fixed to fluid breakpoint, you just have to right click and you just you will select fluid. Well you say you want to are you sure you want to do this? Right now I don't want to do this, but this is the way you switch. Okay. And the icon is is, is different too. So square icon means fixed. So okay, so that's the first thing. Next thing is if here we have our scroll effects. So we have different effects. We have motion, scroll, and we have also a slideshow and animation. I'm going to use opacity scroll effect. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to add this effect to these icons. So I chose this icon before, so I'm going to preview it and see, so you guys see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and now I'm going to reach the point. If you see here, there's no icon yet, but then I scroll down and smoothly appears. So I'm going to do this scroll effect with the text too and these icons here. You can do it with this, as many elements as you want, but just an example, I'm going to show you and I'm going to explain you how it works. Okay, so I'm going to select this icon here and first of all you must click on this value opacity so all these values here are activated and as you see, I'm going to zoom in, as you see here we have this dot which is in 2477 position and is set to 0%, this is the opacity. And when we get to this line and square, this key position over here, this means, this is the, like the key position. So these two positions over here are what happens before this key position and what happens after this key position. So as I want to scroll down and I want the elements to appear, that means that before this key point, opacity has to be zero. It means it has to be completely uh, invisible. But when it hits this key point, I want it to be visible. So that's why and I want it in this key point to be visible and here it has to be visible too. So that's 100% and 100%. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this element over here, let's click, no, I'm going to start with the text box here. So I'm going to click on opacity and here you can actually drag, where's the fade position and where's the key position. And you can actually play with it and choose where you want. So I want this to appear a little bit after the icon. So make sure this one is 2,477 and this one is 2,524, okay. So let's preview it, see how it looks. Okay, I'm going to bring, go up here and see how it looks. Oh. I know where it went wrong. So click over here and remember you see it disappeared when it reached to the key point and it disappeared again. That's because it's not set what is happening after it and I want it to be completely visible. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring this a little bit up so there is a difference. OK, 
Okay, and now let's preview it. Okay, so let's scroll down and see how the icon appears and the text appears too. Yep, exactly. So if you're happy with the result, what I'm going to do here is I want these same elements to have the same behavior as these ones over here. So you just have to copy the same values, all right? So you can type it, write it down when they have to be activated, when is the key position. So that's what I'm going to do now, okay? I'm going to fast forward this part. Okay, so let's scroll down. And see how our elements appear. Okay. Okay, so let's scroll down and see how the effect looks. Okay, so slowly and we see the text. Right. So you can try and play this all around the elements in your template and I just use it in these three elements but you guys can choose and use it in whatever you want. Hope you guys like the tutorial. If you have any doubts please comment this video and if you like this template it's our band one page template that you can find in our online shop. Thank you very much for watching.